Now, before leaving New Boston, we had to check this out. Take away the snow and we see a home made for a hobbit or an artist. A house was inside of me ever since I was a child and uh, I, you know, I just wanted to do something a little different. And that's exactly what John Brooks did. The walls are a serpentine wall that moves as it travels through space and the roof is a hyperbolic paraboloid. So it's a warped plane in the same way that if you take a piece of paper and, you know, tweak on it, you've got that shape. Yes, it's all about curves. Check out the front stairs, the loft stairs, and the silo stairs leading to the bedroom. Much of the core structure was built with reclaimed materials, out of pocket cost? Yeah, it was uh, $1,500. He's been adding on ever since. So how does John make a living? Wood sculpting, often furniture, some functional, some not. For example, chairs that you can't sit on. A look around John's living room tells his creative story. This seat is especially intriguing. It's a root and it's upside down from the way that it grew. Where the seat area is, that was all solid wood and I carved it all out with a chainsaw. And it came from the Manchester dump. I guess that's what my gift is, to be able to make something out of nothing, turn it into something that's artistic and attractive. We're off to Goffstown just shy of seven miles above New Boston. We're paralleling the river most of the way. But before we get to the town center, and with apologies to the Chamber of Commerce, we took a slight detour to see the Goffstown Woman's Prison. The infamous Pam Smart spent time here after her conviction on murder charges. Now the prison is closed, its fate undetermined. Smart is serving time in a New York lockup, and New Hampshire has a new woman's prison in Concord. With that curiosity satisfied, we're back on course to Goffstown Village. Yes, classic New England, complete with a Civil War monument. But wait, what's that? Sliced boulders? We'll get to the story on those later, but first, it's time for lunch. I'm John Putnam, and this is Putnam's Waterview Restaurant. Right in the center of town, John and his wife, Patty, are living the Goffstown culinary dream. It's family fare, but you can go anywhere from a kid's hot dog to a seafood fettuccine Alfredo. This is shrimp scampi. Maybe a Cajun seafood chowder with that? They've got fried clams, too, and a killer burger and fries. But you might want to splurge and go for the onion rings. That was a nice one right there. If none of that is what you have in mind, then listen to this offer. Essentially, you can get anything you want. As long as I have it in the house, I'm willing to make it for you. You heard the man. Tell him what you want, and he'll... Whip it right up. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. 